Welcome to Imfried's video guide on how to properly assemble a gondola wall unit, double-sided unit, and an end cap. We recommend that you watch all three units to familiarize yourself with the components as they are all similar. We'll also show the installation of optional accessories such as the end panel, the hypermaxi, and the gondola countertop. Please note that if you reconfigure the shelving layout differently from how it was ordered, you might be short in parts. This video is intended for professional installers. You should always check for personal safety and proper assembly of each unit. This instructional series is presented to you by M. Freed Store Fixtures, the number one gondola supplier nationwide. Our fixture installation crews are experts and available to provide all installation work from start to finish. Feel free to contact us for any information regarding our products or services. Installation of the Gondola Wall Unit Locate these parts, as well as the bag of miscellaneous parts, generally placed with the spreaders. Here are the tools you'll need, the special wrench, a flat screwdriver, a tape measure, drill, and a 48-inch level. Measure and mark the spot for the wall unit. It is recommended to fasten plywood strips to the wall, to secure the wall unit in place. For the next step you will need the base shoe and the uprights. Insert the lower corner of the base shoe into the upright first while pulling the spring clip and then release once the base shoe is fully seated in the upright. Then spread them out along the wall and note that all uprights can support two shelves side by side. Bottom Spreader Insert the lips of the bottom spreader into the notch at bottom of the upright. Center Spreader Use two people for this setup and insert the center spreader. Backboard. Insert the board slowly. Do not drop. Wall clips. Insert the wall clips into the uprights in vertical position and then turn it to reveal the holes. At this point, make sure that all uprights are leveled. Use a flat screwdriver to level the front of the base shoe. And now check the level of the base shoes and adjust the upright using the special wrench. Once the units are leveled, screw in the wall clips to secure the uprights to the wall. Splicer Spreader When working with units above 72 inches tall, use the splicer spreader to separate the upper and the lower boards. Once the splicer spreader is in place, slowly lower the upper board, do not drop them. Top Spreader Insert the top spreader on top of the upper board into the slots in the uprights and tap down to secure it in place. Upright End Cover To fit the upright's end cover in place, start by aligning it at the top and then tap down to seal it firmly. The kick plate. Slide the notch at the end of the kick plate into the groove on the base shoe. Base shoe cover. There's separate right and left side covers. Align the cover to fit into the base shoe's front groove, and the notches on top of the base shoe to fit through the slot on the cover. The base shelf can be determined by having only one notch on the back while the upper shelves have two. Insert the notch on an angle to the bottom slot of the upright, and then push down the front to lock it in place. upper shelf. The units are now ready to be completed by installing the rest of the shelves. Upright cap. Insert the upright cap to secure the uprights with the top spreaders, and you're done. Installation of the double-sided unit. We'll begin with the following parts. The uprights and the base shoes. Lock the base shoes into the bottom of the uprights, which is the side that has the adjustable leveler. Then run the leveler screws out by approximately one quarter inch. Now, take the bottom spreader. 
in the center spreader. For your safety have a second person hold the uprights in position. Start by installing the bottom spreader into the lowest slots of the upright. Then proceed to install the center spreader. Now if your units are taller than 72 inches you will have to use two center spreaders. Bend the edges of the center spreader inwards to secure them tightly. And now we're ready to install the boards. Be sure to slide the boards in slowly, do not drop them. Repeat the same steps according to the amount of units you have. Using a leveler, find the highest point to start the leveling process. Then use a flat screwdriver to level the base shoes. Make sure to level from the upright. Once everything is leveled, go ahead and slowly slide in the rest of the boards. Now you are ready to install the top spreader. Insert the notches on the end of the top spreader into the top slots of the upright and tap till it's fully seated. Now, let's install the trim cover. Begin by aligning it at the top and then tap down to seal it firmly. Toe kick. Install the toe kick by sliding it in from the top of the lip on the edge of the base shoe. Shoe trim cover. The shoe trim covers come in a right and a left. Insert the top caps in the uprights. We're ready to install the base shelf, which looks similar to standard shelf but with only one notch. Once the base shelves are installed, it's time to put the upper shelves in place. Installation of the end cap. Lock the base shoes into the uprights. Install the bottom spreader. Then insert the center spreaders and lock it in by bending the notches. The spreader might differ depending on the type of board used. It's always a silver looking color. Now it's time to slowly slide the boards in. Never drop them. The H channel is used when one side is slat wall backing. Place it on top of the board. Then slide in the second board over the H channel. Now, position the end cap to the end of the double sided unit. Next, we're gonna level the two uprights with the special wrench. Then, check the level on the vertical side of the uprights and use a flat screwdriver to adjust it from the base shoe. Now slide the board in carefully. You might have slat wall boards, but same process applies. Top spreader. Insert the top spreader on top of the upper board into the slots in the uprights and tap down to secure it in place. End cap T-joiner. Install the end cap T-joiner to secure the two units together. Insert the bolt through the double-sided unit, then add the washer and tighten the nut. And now, screw in the end cap T-joiner to the top spreader of the end cap. At this point, we're ready to add the upright trim covers. Remember to start by aligning it at the top first, and then tap into place. Insert the kick plate on the base shoes. Then add the base shoe trim covers. Install the base shelf. Now with a few taps, insert the top caps in the uprights. And now, by inserting the upper shelves, you have successfully completed the end cap installation. Installation of the end panel. For this, you will need a drill, track, screws, and the end panel clips. Screw in the track to secure it to the bottom of the end panel. Then insert it into the slot between the base shoe and the bottom shelf. End panel clips. Hook the clip into the upright, and then screw it into the end panel to secure it in place. Installation of the Hypermaxi Rear Beam 
With the help of a second person, insert the notches of the hypermaxi rear beam into the upper slots of the uprights. Arm. Install the hypermaxi arm below the hypermaxi rear beam. For the next step you will need the hypermaxi upright and the screws to attach the hypermaxi upright to the hypermaxi arm. Now you need to connect the hypermaxi front beam to the hypermaxi upright and for this you need the dart clip, which is used to secure the beam to upright. Position the beam to the top of the upright and align the holes, then insert the dart clip to secure it in place. Attachment Clips Insert the attachment clips into the bottom of the upright, then secure it to the base shelf using the bolt and wing nut. Deck Support Now install the Hypermaxi deck support between the front and the rear beam. Decking Complete the Hypermaxi by placing the decking to the top of the unit. You might have with decking, though the installation is the same. Installation of the Gondola Style Counter For this installation, you will follow the same steps as for the double-sided unit and the end panel. Once that's done, you're ready to add the wood shelf brackets to the top slot on the uprights. Place the countertop in position and ensure that it is aligned with all the brackets. Then use screws to secure the countertop to the brackets, and you're done. Thanks for watching the Gondola Assembly Guide by Imfried.